Hey, so here we are again, uh, about to start a new video. This time we're going to do something different and we're going to try to teach uh, lenses or optics in JavaScript and with a, I think it's an easy example to refactor and it lets us see how powerful lenses are. So let's begin with our example. We're going to refactor a Redux reducer, which is a pure function, and we're going to use lenses. So for example, we have an initial state of an array of posts that have a count of likes, and it's a nested data structure, and then it has some properties, it has a post ID, and it has a user has liked. And we have, for now, two actions, okay? Whether we liked a post on Instagram or whatever, or whether we dislike that. And what we need to do in our reducer is if we liked that post, then we need to find out by means of the index, which is the payload that we receive from the action in Redux. We need to find it in this array. That's why we need two array splices to only modify that exact um, item within the array. Then we need to have do the spread operator to copy all the properties that we don't mind and then we, we add the new ones that we want to modify. This is very standard JavaScript Redux code, but we see how to improve it with lenses. So two things that we need to change. We need to change the property user has liked and then the count of likes, which is a nested object, um, needs to be incremented by one. And similarly, if it's disliked, we need to set it as false and then subtract one, of course. So we see that there are two different operations going on. There is an operation that sets the user that has like to true or to false, and then we have a separate operation and we need to combine these two operations to increment or decrement the count of likes. So let's do that with lenses. I'm going to use Optics.js, but this uh, knowledge is transferable to Ramdas lenses and also to Monocle TS. So let's begin with. So for example, in lenses, there are only three possible operations, okay? You have view, you have set, and you have over. And view in other libraries as Monocle is called get, set is called the same, and over is sometimes called modify, okay? These are the three basic things that we can do with lenses. Uh, so lenses, to work with lenses, we need two parts. We need a lens or an optic to focus on a specific part of our deeply nested data structure, and then we need the operation we want to run over that lens. So for example, let's begin uh, creating the lens to target the count of likes. We'll create here. Uh, const mm, likes count lens and it's going to be an optic which is going to receive the first the index because it needs to uh, traverse this list of posts and find by the index then it needs the likes which is a property and then finally we need the count Okay, so we could use view to access and read the value in the state with this lenses count. But we're not going to do that. We're going to modify it. So that's why we need to use um, over. Why do we need to use over? Because we need to access the previous state and then increment it by one. So let's remove this stuff. And now we can say return over, we use our lens here, and we use the function that is going to be here, and then our state that we need to unmutably modify. What goes here? Well, I have a helper function which is going to increment because the kind of functions that um, over expects are unary functions, are functions with one argument that you would expect from a map. Okay? Okay. And let's see what happened. Well, basically, if we go to the tests, index.test, 
this test is failing because yes we incremented the count but we need to do a different operation to this other side of our data we need to also set user has liked as true very well so let's do that we need a different lens this time and we're going to call a uh, user has liked lens we need the index and we need to target only this property perfect and what are we going to do well let's do something funny const foo and we need to run over again well in this case we don't need to run over because we just want to set this property to false okay so let's use set we use our new lens and we're going to say false and set as as over it has a third argument which is the state okay and now we want to use our new state to do this operation twice and we are not importing set so this is not going to work okay we import set and we wait for the tests to pass Ta-da! So the tests are now passing. So this code, these two lines of code, worked exactly the same as the ugliness of code that we had before. But still, we can do better, right? Because if you notice, we are applying two operations, and then we are passing the state one, computing a new state, and then um, doing another operation. But we can reduce this because if we do not use the third parameter if we partially apply this because it's clarified we can combine these two operations so this means that we can remove this line and use our compose here and then do the two operations in one go so we are composing this setting operation with the over operation and we are doing uh, the two transformations to our state in one go and as you see the test is passing so nice uh, what happens if we do the same but for this other function decrement well it's going to be as easy as refactoring this but saying that we want to decrement instead and setting the value to false and the test passed but you might have noticed that we have a negation function here so why not instead of using set we can say um, maybe that we want to use our other function and then if it was true it's going to be false the new value and if it was false is going to be true so we can use exactly the same function and you see the tests are passing so now we can extract this little bit and we can say um, liked operation and it can have its own lens and now we can use it here and here and we can avoid code duplication and the test pass so basically this is lenses if you compare to the code that we are that we had before it's way more readable i think because it's very declarative what we need to do we're using very nice helpful functions that we can find for example in Ramda or we can build our own and for example if you want to do Ramda the only thing you need to change instead of this optic that we use in optics JS you can use lens path is the same concept for monocle TS uh, because it's in TypeScript you have to differentiate what are prisms and traversals and it's a bit more complex but the inner concept is the same to just create an optic and then you apply view or get or set or over or modify and that's it you already know lenses so if, if you have enjoyed this please hit like subscribe and let's look for another javascript functional video or maybe next time it will be haskell time so see you until then